hey guys hello everyone welcome to yet another tutorial video and this time um, I'm creating this video uh, by the request of a uh, couple of my subscribers who wanted to know how Pro ATCX works with uh, Aerosoft Airbus professional series which has come out late latest um, many of my subscribers have complained that Pro ATCX does not work well with uh, Aerosoft Airbus or how to uh, you know get the flight plan from Aero Pro ATCX excuse me Pro ATCX to work uh, into the latest Aerosoft Airbus uh, professional 64 bit for prepare 3D uh, remember one thing that this video is intended for people who are using uh, P3D version 4 and above. I'm using uh, P3D version 4.5 and uh, I do not actually know whether this will work with uh, Flight Simulator X as well. But uh, yeah, uh, again i would like to bring this to all of your notices uh, i'm not going to show you uh, how to create a flight plan from the scratch everybody knows how pro atcx works and how pro atcx uh, flight plans are created if you want you can uh, always turn into my tutorial uh, which actually shows you how to create flight plan into pro atcx so without wasting much of our time let's get started with this one uh, as you can see uh, i have this flight plans already created um, some of them for the 737 was some one of them for the 787 and this is what i created uh, for our airbus uh, professional series so i'm using airbus 320 200 model uh, air asia livery I'm going to take this flight from Pune, India to Indira Gandhi International Airport, Delhi, India again. And uh, our flight number is 729. Uh, this is the flight which operates from Pune to uh, New Delhi. And uh, this is the uh, flight that I'm going to use. Uh, so what exactly steps do you want to take before you know uh, before the flight plan from pro atc x uh, is noticed in our airbus professional so i'll give you a, a description on what you need to do first step is you go to the options when you create your flight plan so before creating this flight plan make sure that you go to options once you go to options you have this folder path in the folder paths you have this folder paths which are there uh, into your uh, uh, you know uh, pro atcx shows you you see the first one which is aerosoft airbus and the second one is the aerosoft airbus x extended do not use the extended version use the aerosoft airbus this works fine with your professional series now i what i do is i just give it a uh, path where my aerosoft airbus flight plan folder is stored so in this case i show you these steps these steps are going to be the same if you are using the default installation folder for your aerosoft uh, airbus professional series so what you need to do is select this one and then you click on select once you click on select you see in the documents folder you will have this folder called aerosoft do not go into the prepare 3d v4 add-ons folder but you have a folder called aerosoft go into aerosoft and in the aerosoft you will have find this 320 to, uh, 321 professional series folder updater folder and a general folder go into the general folder once you go into the general folder you will find a3 xx flight plans folder click on this and click on ok that is the only thing you need to do and once you do that click on save yeah so once you click on save this will save your uh, path and aerosoft will recognize your pro atcx flight plan and pro atcx will know 
where exactly it needs to generate the flight plan and where exactly it needs to store it when it comes to your aerosoft professional series version so as i said i have already created this flight plan using uh, pro atc x and uh, the uh, the flight plan options which is the new flight plan and then the other options uh, which follows um, once you are here i'll jump into the cockpit of my aerosoft airbus now i have paused this uh, simulation uh, as i'm using easy dock camera as you can see you're already in the cockpit uh, we have uh, the external powers on uh, our irs are going to be aligned in next couple of minutes um, so once that irs is aligned we can get going uh but till then what we can do is uh, you know we can uh, start off with uh, our fuel planning our passenger load and everything i'm not going to go into that uh, because this tutorial is meant only for the integration of pro atc x with your aerosol professional series so i'm not going to stretch this video much let's get started with uh, pro atc x and your uh, flight plan so i'll go into pro 86 again right click and i'll click fly now it takes time um, i'm not i'm not on my uh, gaming pc i'm using my laptop all right so it has loaded as you can see i have i have been using this sound pack from uh, mic and that is why uh, you know some of the uh, checklist items are not there in that uh, sound pack all right let's get to this fmc flight plan options click on these two options this needs to be checked right and then you need to check the aerosoft airbus option here click on ok once you click on ok let's jump back to our cockpit and now if i unpause this so for atc x has recognized that we are uh, we are into we are using this uh, aerosoft airbus uh, professional series but we still do not have the clarity because many of my subscribers have been doing, uh, telling me that till this part it works very well problem lies after this so let's go into the next step which is to uh, switch on to our clearance delivery and for that we'll go into the radio options uh, is, where is my radio options yeah here it is I'm getting used to the easy dock uh, version we are still so bear with me if I'm you know, someone doing some mistakes. So let's let's tune into our clearance delivery before that we need to uh, Let's on the radio navigations for both our cockpit as well, uh, pilot as well as the co-pilot um, thing. And in the pilot uh, section of the radio, let's get tuned to our active frequency, which is 118.0. We are switched to our active uh, frequency, and uh, let's go to the next step which is asking the clearance delivery for uh, the flight plan to load again control all right in flight menu and let's ask for the clearance clearance delivery alpha x-ray mic 729er with atis request clearance apex m 729er Roger, runway 10. Climb and maintain flight level 80. Expect flight level 350 within 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 121.0. Squawk 1232. QNH 0. Climb to flight level 80. Expect 
for flight level 350 within 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 120, 1 decibel 0, squawk 1232, QNH 0, Alpha, X-ray, Mike 729er. AXM 729er, read back correct contact ground control on 121 decibel 8. Roger, 121 decibel 8, Alpha, X-ray, Mike 729er. Right. So, as I told you that uh, this step works perfectly for our Aerosoft Airbus professional series and this is the proof. Look at this. The active frequency has automatically changed to the clearance frequency or whatever our ATC has told us to tune into. This would have not changed if Pro ATC X wouldn't have been able to recognize our uh, Aerosoft Airbus professional series. So this is this is the first uh, proof that uh, our Pro ATC X has now tuned with our Aerosoft Airbus Professional Series. Let's go to the next step and let's check if um, that step also works. So for that, I'll go into our uh, MCDU3 and uh, we have the. Let's check if we have the ground power connected. Yes, we are connected. And uh, let's go back. Let's go to our FMGC. And let's go into our init. And in the init page, let us see if our flight plan is recognized. For that, we need to do is we need to just type in our ICAO code for both the airports. Uh, for Pune, it is uh, VAPO and for New Delhi it is VITP and uh, let me put it into the company route that's it if you check it has already taken it and I'll just put in the flight number which is I51729 and I'll put it here cost index of 50 and our clo closing altitude is 350 and uh, let's align our IRSs return let's go to our uh, flight plan there you see this is the second proof and this is the much much uh, main proof that I'm talking about now let's go back to our uh, first officer view and there you see as I told you let's shift to flight plan mode and uh, I'll just uh, un take it to 10 and maybe we can see the flight plan here it is the flight plan is loaded from Pro ATC X into our Aerosoft Airbus Professional successfully. No issues, no glitches, no errors at all. The flight plan is here and uh, if you want to you know scroll to the uh, steps and if you want to check if uh, the flight plan is loaded you can just uh, you know scroll to the steps and uh, as you can see I'm scrolling through these steps look at that flight plan is complete and I'm yet I'm again telling you I'm yet to select the uh, departure runway as well as the arrival runway but still the flight plan from Pro ATC X has been imported correctly into our um, Pro ATC from our Pro ATC X into our Aerosoft Airbus professional series. Now there is another proof. There is a third proof which shows that we have the flight plan from Pro ATC X into the Airbus professional series. And I'll tell you, I'll show you that proof as well. So let's go to our directory where uh, we have the Airbus uh, folder. This is uh, Aerosoft and go to general and flight plans. Here it is this is the flight plan which is created from pro atc x and it has been added into our flight plan folder by pro atc previously it was not there it has been added now so 
that's it our flight plan from pro atc x is imported correctly into our professional series only thing you need to do is uh, and I'll just uh, stop this flight so that we can have a good look at it again only thing you need to do is before creating the flight plan for your professional series just make sure that you go into the options folder path first option aerosoft airbus and select the right path where you have the a3xx flight plans folder stored uh, default it is this users your name documents aerosoft general and then the flight plan folder make sure you have selected this path here save it and you will have absolutely no problems when it comes to pro atc x interacting with your aerosoft airbus professional series now this tutorial is till here what i'll do is i'll also do another video where i'm going to fly this i'm we are going to take off from this airport and we are going to take our route and let's see whether pro atc x interacts with our airbus and our airbus uh, you know uh, takes the steps or takes the uh, interaction from pro atc x correctly uh, while flying uh, while flying so that's it guys this tutorial is still here and i'll see you in the next tutorial till then have fun and god bless you all